And now it's time for yours truly to use a forklift. It's only my second time. Hello again, everybody. It's Dustin here from Tank Wild, bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the expansion of Greenhouse 3.0 showing up here. We're also gonna talk about Tonina Tina the turtle and how she's getting better. But it's Sunday, it's species Sunday. I got a couple of species to show you how they grow one way and then they grow another. Let's talk about the greenhouse. And real quick, I wanna get slightly woo-woo with you. Just like with plants, if you're not growing, you're dying. Do the hard stuff. Push through it, it makes you stronger. Let's talk about the greenhouse. Water, water everywhere. So, we're gonna move this yard hydrant over here. And we're gonna take this yard hydrant over here. And it's gonna be in the way, like the other ones are, so we're gonna take it and we're gonna move it over to here. And then we're gonna run a drain pipe in the same way and we're gonna put another one at the end of that over there. And then we're gonna run it through here. We are already uh, subbed in or whatever down there. And then we're gonna run another one over here. Is that way and that way. And that is how it will be done. And now it's time for yours truly to use a forklift. It's only my second time. I'll try. That'll do it. Bam, right there. As the rain comes. Right as it starts to rain. Well, got that done. Nice job. So I'm super excited about getting Greenhouse 3.0 on the site uh, in August. Working to get everything rolling. I want to show you what we got going on. Uh, the original water designs for this place, I've talked about them, had to be done uh, almost two years in advance before I knew what I wanted. People in life don't get what they want because they don't know what they want. Well, I know what I want now because I've been in the uh, 2.0 for a minute. Oh, hey! He didn't want to be on video. Uh, I got the water in here. Look out, homie. I'm coming at you. Got the water in here. Our friends at... Uh, Neil Brothers Plumbing did a nice job. I had to measure these out. You can see the clip of that. Uh, these yard hydrants, this is a modification from inside because originally I had them six foot off the wall. Now they're gonna be right in the wall. So they're gonna be out of the way so we can put basins wherever we want. Uh, I've got the drain put in the center here. And these are actually super treacherous like manhole things. We got two of them in uh, Greenhouse 2.0. We're not uh, using only, but only one of those this time around. Yard hydrant out there, yard hydrant out there. Uh, excavator on site and uh, yeah got a little bit of a mess to clean up but we're not gonna do that yet because we're about to do 36 inch diameter piers eight of them so this whole like you know site work is gonna need to be uh, expanded but now we have water in the back of the lot which makes doing these basins out here a lot more exciting sure. water water everywhere This is Tina. 
It's about 10 o'clock. Tina's eating uh, some cherries and some cantaloupe. We think that Tina prefers the cherries to the cantaloupe. But the cantaloupe is cooler to watch her eat it. Laying on the ground with the turtle. It's amazing. Hey, girl. What's up? Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you with the camera. I'll get back. She loves it, dude. I like how she's just out nowadays. And today is Turtle Diary Tuesday. Hey, girl. What's up, Tina? Could you be any more awesome? I think she likes the cherries more. Sunday, it's Species Sunday. These two species have absolutely nothing to do with the Species Sunday I'm about to bring it to you, but they look fat. This is Hygrophila salicifolia. This is Hygrophila cherry leaf. I wonder why they call it a cherry leaf. But these are not what we are talking about today. So I've got three entirely different species of plants here, and I want to show you a lesson that could be learned on all three of these that might help you when you get a new plant that is acclimating, adjusting to your aquarium. And the lesson goes like this. Plants, unlike humans, if you cut a human's arm off, it's not growing off back. Plants, however, are a little bit different in the fact that they might completely abandon part of their growth and start something new. Uh, I'm gonna start here. This is Anacris elodea, elodea, anacris, whatever. This plant right here is a primo example of it. You can see right here in this, look at how it has, obviously this is the original alpha stem right here and then it was growing good here and then it goes into new conditions and it just completely abandons this right here kind of brown it out and then it's got all this new growth here you can see a couple of fine examples of it right here uh, anacris is just a weird one you think you're going to plant and get this tall growth but it's just going to give you this side new growth coming off of here like that anacris does that i've got another example for you all though this is a fun one. This is actually more of a floating plant, uh, Ludwigia celloides. This plant has these new growth. It will send off runners in different conditions. It has a new uh, growth starting here. It doesn't abandon quite as much, but it's definitely one you want to look for because it's a floater. It might send off another uh, growth in another way, but this is the primo example right here. This is water sprite. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the scientific name on it. This comes in fully grown above water with roots growing above the water line. And look at how this plant uh, can just take what was growing good for it and completely abandon, abort, stop mission, and then grow these different ways. You can see how it came off of this long, what was once healthy growth and now has this new growth coming off here. You can look at the base and you can see it had this great growth, but then it stops and it sends off all this new growth right here like this water sprite primo example it also has these cool little claws that come off definitely something to look for when you plant a plant look around on the plant and look for the new growth and try to encourage that uh, pro tip if you just want to snip off all of the other stuff the plant is just wasting energy sending it to the once is beautiful now is not uh, parts of the plant do me a favor folks leave me a comment uh, what kind of plants do some weird growth action for you everybody hit the subscribe button share if you care and uh, yeah, make it an awesome week and tank on later